Welcome to Archiversity Online Classes. In this lecture, I am going to show you how to calculate, analyze and interpret return on investment using financial statements of two real companies. Return on uh, investment using financial statements of a company can be calculated as net income or uh, say profit for the year plus interest expense times 1 minus tax rate this upon your average long term liabilities plus total equity in case average long term liabilities is not available that is uh, average is calculated using a two financial years data if that is not available then you can uh, simply take the long term liabilities plus total equity of a particular year so i'll explain you this ratio uh, with the help of a two financial statements of our two real companies now here is uh, financial statements of deepak uh, nitrate for this we sourced the two financial statement one is a statement of profit and loss account because uh, your numerator values you will get from a statement of profit and loss account and here you have a values for a two uh, financial years or accounting years that is uh, march that first 2019 and 2020 and all the amounts are in rupees crores so our numerator is uh, net income or uh, profit for the year. So simply scroll up and uh, look at profit for the year. So here you have a profit for the year, 544 crore in 2020 and 138 crore in uh, 2019. There is a phenomenal increase in profit of Deepak Nitrate during the year 2020. This is your uh, numerator. And in addition to this, you need to have a finance cost or interest expenses. Now here you have a finance cost. So you have to pay attention to the finance cost because finance cost may also include other financial costs. But our interest is only on a interest uh, expense. So just you need to look at the related notes to this that is a note 31. And here you can see the 20 crore and 42 crore. There is a decrease in uh, finance cost. Then the third item that you required in the numerator is a tax rate. So from companies annual report you will also find the tax rate i'll show you that one also so here you have a reconciliation where uh, uh, enacted income tax rate in india so here for 2020 the tax rate is 25.17 percent and uh, for 2019 this is 34.94 percent we can round off this as a 35 percent and this as a 25 percent so tax rate, you can see it from a note, related notes of annual report. All right. So your note number 31, where you have a tax rate. Then in a denominator, you need to have non-current liabilities as well as equity capital. So here we have a total uh, equity. So total equity is here for the both the years. And then your long-term liabilities, lease borrowings and uh, borrowings are here, long-term borrowings. And for 2020, there are no long term borrowings. So using these values, now we calculate return on investment. So first is your numerator values, that is uh, profit for the year. So profit for the year, we'll take for the two years, that is 2019 and uh, 2020. So profit for the year, or let us say profit after tax, this is uh, 138.04 crore here and here 544.04 then your interest expense so here we see this this is a finance cost now note 31 just we refer to the note 31 now here finance cost your interest on the borrowings are here then exchange rate differences then interest cost on lease liabilities so we'll consider only interest on borrowings 16.77 and 34.90 interest is 34.90 and 16.77 let us check once again so interest cost yeah 16.77 and 34.90 34.90 then your tax rate here this is 35 percent and here 25 percent so the tax rate will vary from year to year you need to pay attention towards the tax rate also so we got tax rates from uh, the note 31 so here you can see the tax rates 
So using this, now your denominator values, you have to total these two. That is your uh, equity and long-term liabilities. In case of a financial year 2020, there are, there are no long-term liabilities, only equity. That is uh, 1491 equity, 1491 crore. Whereas for 2020, you have a long-term liabilities plus equity. So this is uh, 1057.84 plus 81.59. So 11, let us say 1140, 1140. So using these values, now we'll calculate uh, your return on investment. So return on investment, this equals to, for financial year 2019, 138 plus 35, just I'm rounding off, into 1 minus 0 0.35. This is the tax rate. This upon your uh, total uh, equity plus debt. 1140 crore. So this equals to 138 plus, let me take the calculator. So tax adjusted interest is 35 into 0.65, 22.75. So here 22.75 upon 1140 so this gives you less uh, 138 this is a uh, profit for the year and divided by 1140 so 0 0.14 0 0.14 or we can say 14 percent so the return on investment for the epoch net rate for the financial year 2019 is 14 percent so similarly we calculate for 2020 so this is uh, 544 plus let us take 17 into 1 minus tax rate is 25 percent so 0 0.25 this upon total of uh, equity plus liabilities that is long-term equity plus liabilities uh, 1491 so this equals to 544 plus 17 into 0 0.75 12.75 12.75 upon 1491 plus 544 and upon your denominator is 1491 that is total of long-term liabilities plus equity 0.37 so 0 0.37 or 37 percent you can see that in case of uh, Deepak Nitrate there is a significant increase in return on investment in the financial year 2019 the return on investment is 14% uh, whereas in the financial year 2020 the return on investment is 37% so the factors that attributed for this uh, high increase in the return on investment is one is you can see that there is a significant increase in uh, sales then whereas the, there is a decrease in uh, fixed cost or uh, sorry decrease in uh, fixed finance cost uh, which uh, resulted in uh, high profits in addition to that uh, uh, other expenses are all same and uh, so because of these th two things one is there is increase in the sales and second one is a decrease in uh, fixed finance cost which uh, impacted the return on investment of the company that is the Deepak net rate now here we have a, another example this is Jai Balaji Industries why I chose uh, second example is not all the time the companies will earn a profits Sometimes there is an erosion into their uh, liabilities. There is sorry. Uh, sometimes there will be erosion in their equity capital also. So net equity may also be negative. So to uh, bring that to your notice, I bought this uh, company that is a uh, J Balaji Industries. So here, if you look at the uh, profit for the period, you now here you have a profit for the period which is in a negative. In the sense, this is a loss making company for the, both the financial years. That is twenty. 19 as well as a 2020 and all the amounts are in rupees lakhs so this company incurred a loss of 15,367 lakhs in 2019 and 11,433 lakhs in 2020 and look at the finance cost so here uh, you have a finance cost we need to go into details so this finance cost include any other costs uh, in addition to the interest expense so here the finance cost is 10,278 and 11,000 uh, 158 then uh, coming to the uh, long term or that is the non-current liabilities and equity so if you see here 
the equity is also negative in the sense other equity that is the reserves surpluses everything has been eroded for this uh, company now this is uh, having a negative total equity and the borrowings are here so financial borrowings are 66173 crore and 161385 crore now we look at the finance cost so here finance costs are there finance charges cost everything that is uh, 10278 and 11158 are your finance costs so share capital is here and other equity you can see that we have a capital reserve uh, amalgamation reserve securities premium general reserve retained earnings again negative that means continuously this company is incurring losses so because of which your accumulated uh, total equity is negative and profit for the year like current years also it is a negative so this is one and non current borrowings have the values here using these values we will calculate uh, the return on equity now obvious that this return on equity of this company will be negative so so when uh, your return on equity is negative then there is no need for to calculate you to return on uh, equity because this is not giving any positive returns to the, its uh, investors whether it is uh, <coughs> uh, equity investors or uh, lenders so while calculating if you, if you calculate you get a negative roi because your uh, uh, numerator is in, uh, also negative and your denominator is also negative that is the company has negative equity capital as well as a negative net profits so the return on equity of this company will be negative and calculating that is a meaningless because uh, investors always want to see that whether they are making any positive returns on their investment or not so uh, this is how you need to calculate the return on investment of a companies which is uh, making a profits and which has uh, having a positive equity capital and if there is a negative equity capital and uh, uh, negative returns then there is no need of a calculating return on investment but if you have a negative uh, even uh, negative profits that is a loss for the financial year and your equity is profit that is uh, your equity is a positive in that case also there is no need to calculate return on investment because in any case it is clearly indicating that the company is in a loss so thank you thank you for watching the lecture